Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Summit powered by G2A.com Or should I say the Summit 2 More than 1, less than 3, 2 I'm like Santa Zanara, gonna be solo casting once again uh, Mr. Pixel has left me for uh, for work So I am gonna have to do this one solo for, for now We'll see if anything happens for game number 3 Hopefully this one doesn't take as long a time and tax my stamina uh, But I'm excited to be back casting again The last one was quite the doozy as they would say and it was what I would like to say 322 squared the throws into counter throws just stacking one upon another and we got ourselves a game and LGD gonna feel pretty bad after that one they had the one in their bag and as a result they um, they do what every single Dota player do which is blame their carry they're gonna ban out Terrorblade right now refuse it blame that loss on him make sure we don't have to pick him again even accidentally don't ever pick that guy again and as a result they're gonna ban him out they ban Wisp as well and Good for us, LV Gaming. Uh, they do ban out Naga as well as the Death Prophet LV Gaming, Live Gaming, Louis Vuitton ah. Gaming. Um, a lot of things could stand for it. It's probably something gamish uh, that I have not discovered. Actually, I didn't actually search these guys out on Liquipedia. We'll see if we can actually find anything on them. I couldn't find anything on the new Speed Gaming squad. Maybe I'm just not Googling hard enough. Uh, but let me just give them a Google right now. I, I recently got my. Uh, I recently got my what you call it, second screen so I can do like s quick checking on the right, check Twitch chat for any kind of technical problems and whatnot on the side as well. So it's been really, really good for me. So, uh, well, I guess LV Gaming are kind of like the, um, a mix of. What was that team name again? The one with remaining. In July and. Uh, no, in July, In Flame and Demons. Uh, but remaining. I guess now it's only In Flame, Demons, and DDC. Alright, DDC, one of the old dogs in the Chinese scene. Uh, he's Reserve back. time. But well, uh, <laughs> well, okay. C deck. He's now. Uh, they're now gonna ban out the morphling, and they're gonna. Well, they don't want to deal with all these kind of split pushy kind of heroes, as it seems like. They want to go for the death ball. They still believe in death ball, and as a result, we are seeing that viper skyroth thing. Um, could have been Razor, but they chose Viper instead. So Viper, Skyruff, uh, fight in the mid game, secure, secure locations on the battlefield as quick as possible, and try and beat your muscle your opponents off the map. Uh, seems to be the game plan here. And LV Gaming, they see this and they ban out the heroes that are very appropriate for such snowball action, which is well, heroes like Centaur. We have heroes like Brewmaster, all being taken out off the, uh, taken out off the fray as well. And for you guys, I am not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if um, if my Dota TV is still working. If I am, hello in Dota TV. If I'm not, I am sorry because I already turned on my open mic, Five so I, I I don't see any reason for it to still be crapping up. Uh, on the side of LV Gaming Reserve though, they've got themselves a one-two punch Reserve combo. Sword. If you will, uh, they've got a bat rider and they've got an ancient apparition. So. Uh, technically, you could kill anyone solo in the early game with just an Ice Blast and a Lasso. Technically. But Asian Apparition has many other good applications as well. So um, the Ice Blast will be able to make team fights very troublesome and make a mechanism pickup uh, even more... What do you call it? Well, it makes a mechanism pickup feel very pointless Ten and any kind of heal threats are usually out the door at this point. So if they were thinking along the lines of Omni Knight, then well, that's Dying out of it. But LGD, they go back for the 6.81 Cancer, which is also known as the Faceless Void. LV Gaming, on the other hand, though, have secured a win over here with a Ogre Magi pick. I've heard that this hero is certified OP, so I expect 
great things from him. Uh, but I think I, I watched Sing Sing stream the other day, and he did say that Ogre Magi is broken. And I believe he went went ahead and lost that game. I'm not sure if he did, but Ogre Magi, pretty strong hero. So it's all Ogre now for LGD to beat a dead horse and to reuse an old joke. But we'll see how good this Ogre is. We might have a Draw Ranger. I don't know. Uh, Draw Ranger? Yeah, uh, the combo with Draw Ogre being able to strafe really fast. It could be other things like a Shadow Fiend. New and remodeled could also be part of it. Uh, we got some, we got some pretty cool possibilities here. Even a Silibear, yeah, that's the one I was thinking about. Silibear, the lone druid with Radiant the ogre, you just buff up the bear and just beat the shit out of towers. And once again, we get that Sand King Skyrim Mage uh, that we saw from, we saw from the last game. We'll, we'll see if it works for LGD this time round. Yeah, uh, we'll see. LV have got some interesting drafts coming on here. I'll see. Oh man. I'd like to see Slark. the new SF Arcana. Nope, it's gonna be Slark. Alright, Slark stabbing people a little bit faster. Could actually work out for them. Uh, but. Ogre. <laughs> oh man. We're gonna bring the casino to town here and we'll see if we roll any big ones as uh, the Spectre takes a side seat in this Ten fight. So no remaining. big. Team fighty here. Oh, well, no big illusion end game remaining. carries, as we'll call it, along with the ball of light. Uh, gonna be LGD's choice of bands here. Five and really, remaining. you can't blame them uh, yeah. after what happened there. Ooh, bristle back. Radiant team band. Uh, bristle back. Uh, okay, uh, I would say it's all right. Uh, the slot pick is mm, nice, especially now against Void because uh, he no longer reveals slot with Chronosphere. I think that's a very, very fancy point to Ten seconds actually, remaining. Uh, to actually, to actually point out. And with LV Gaming are going to ban Doombringer, Mr. Money. Dire team pick. So, with Doombringer out of the battle, uh, we'll, we'll not have any problems for Slark, first of all. And there will, LGD will not be given the last slot to pick up some Money Maker. And they'll have to settle for something else, a less economical offlane, if you could call it that. I would like to speak. Uh, I'd like to see some bounty hunter. Speaking of economic, I'd like to see some bounty hunter with that new shuriken bouncing thingy. So some pinball shuriken. Pinball shuriken will be fun. Five seconds uh, remaining. It's gonna be dark here. Something we have not really seen uh, for quite a while now. But a uh, nice vacuum wall, uh, chronosphere, or vacuum bar strike, if you will. It's gonna be pretty devastating. So vacuum bar strike is something to look out for. And LV gaming. What is it gonna be? Mm. Actually, Slark's really good against Darkseer because uh, you can just trap the guy in place, prevent him from surging away. So it's uh, actually really strong against that Darkseer. We'll see if it works Five out for them. But LV Gaming, they need to pick themselves an off lane, otherwise a mid, because uh, Bat doesn't do too well against Viper. I would imagine they pick something else to deal with this Viper. Uh, Bat Rider should just take an um, off lane seat here. A couple of good Viper counters in the mid lane. Ooh. I can't think of anything. Apart from Venomancer, I think. Fight poison with poison. I, I don't I don't see many heroes that deal with Viper that well. Maybe Razor, but I don't think it's what they're really going for. I Ten could be wrong. seconds remaining. Uh, and we let Ogre carry and let's we'll start mid. So Five seconds remaining. We'll see. Troll Warlord, we are going for a tower beat down here. We have Inflame picking up that Troll Warlord, and we have the Bloodlust played by Gunner Long DD. So, the, the Spectacle, um, no, no, was it the Gamer Glasses? I have a pair as well. They like to sponsor gamers. And it could be the wrong one. It's Gunner, not Gunnar, so I guess I'm selling the wrong stuff here. But anyway, uh, Ogre. Ogre is gonna be a pickup here, so exciting stuff gonna be happening here. Alright, we're gonna run through the teams very quickly. We have LV on the raided side. We have Gunner Long DD on the Ogre Magi playing the OP battle. hero. Bat Rider played by Lin. We have DDC playing up Ancient Apparition in Flame and Troll Warlord and Ziff playing the Shocky Slark. Ziff, very nice of him to put some letters that I can read after his Chinese words. Oh, look at his career. This is amazing. China only, guys. Thank you, pay to win. Alright, on the side of LGD, Deck, the losers from the last game after a horrendous throw. Um, 
We have Q playing the Skyrim Mage. We have Sangto Mr. Forehead on Faceless Void. Hopefully he does better this time. Garda on the Sand King, fully pimped with green crystals and kryptonite. 333, three, three. our favorite Centaur player is going to be on the docks here. And maybe we'll see a Viper. I'm going to do it every time. Every single time now. Oh no, wait. To battle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, technical problems. Like I said, I fixed it. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I fixed it. Oh, we're gonna first blood fighting right here. Here comes the OP, the stun, the smashes, the multi smash. But a four man battle strike from the Sand King Garda. Not enough. Ogre beats him down. Beat him down. Beat him down. That's it. That's our ogre. And Long DD keeps himself alive. A very, very slow Viper. Now gonna be taken down by the full Radiant Squad. They take two. This is the fighting I'm looking for. Are you sure we're not in Russia? Are you sure this is not Summit Russia? No, it's not. We trap up Skyrath, mate. Missing middle. No, the stun coming out here from the Sand King. They keep him alive. Lid goes down to the tier 2 tower. And Ziv gonna be hopping his way away. He's still level 1 and a half. And Mr. Forehead, he wants to go after him. Not gonna be able to find him. Concussive shot in 5 seconds, but it's the leap in 1. Oh, Barrow Strike, no matter. Running away, concussive shot. Leap away, my friend. Leap away. Be free, fishy. Be free. And he is. Oh, boy. In flame. Back in the middle lane. What a start it has been. And it's two for two on the board. Yeah, he kills himself to ancient because why the heck not? Screw this cruel earth. He goes back to the safe lane to farm. Bat Rider finds himself a one and a half thanks to that first blood they drew. Uh, yeah. So now the score is two and two. One to the ancient, so it doesn't really matter that much. But we're back on. Uh, we're back in the ba back in the game, and we have C deck. Oh, rather forehead. Uh, face up against the bad rider. Gonna be pretty annoying as uh, as the Skyrim has gone from concussive level one. He will not be able to drop his arcane balls. There's a barrel strike. It's not a concussive shot. They're gonna beat him up the old-fashioned way. They swipe down enough right clicks. Ticks the bad rider out. Batman a little bit too confident of his abilities. Will not actually be uh, will not actually be killed there. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Right. I didn't miss first blood, guys. At least I didn't miss first blood. I missed first blood for the first game, but not this one. <laughs> All right, there, there you go. <laughs> the napalm does get flat there on the Sand King four hit. Now auto mana it does have four stick charges though, so he doesn't have to worry too much about it. He has got his old fancy time breaker as well. Uh, but looks like they are gonna roam. Garda is starting to stack some creeps. It's about a minute forty, you know, forty-eight. So it's definitely gonna be stacking some creep waves, and he will stack the ogres. And leave them be. That's five stacks of napalm on a faceless void. Are we diving? No, we're not. There are ten stick charges on that guy. Invis uh, illusion. illusion gonna be picked up by the sand king. Can go for some multi stacking here if he does desire that. Iron shell, unfortunately, very nasty against a slot, and he is not gonna be able to deal with this for now. Uh, not with the ogre, not with the ancient apparition. Still s level starved at the moment. And Darkseer being a durable hero, able to resist most of their right clicks. Alright. Carter now with uh, two points in his skills, one in Burrow, one in Sandstorm. Oh, oh, I missed the kill. Oh, middle lane. Okay. So the Romes did actually come out. My bad. And with the chilling touch as well. They smack down the Viper, makes the score three and four. Scarif is here to absorb all that EXP that will be wasted for the Viper in his absence. Now level two, he's got one point in the bolt, which will be very, very effective at uh, zoning key heroes out. Skyrof could actually look for a return kill here, but not gonna do that instead. Uh, will flap himself back to the top. And I like the sentry ward placements here from the Radiant Rin, really talk about it that much. They actually block up all the camps the Sanking could use to farm. So and and the Darks here as well. So if he had a trouble if he had trouble in the bottom lane, he will not be able um, to go back and retreat into the jungle for that extra farm and he will have to compete with the Sand King who is now actually mass stacking up these green camps and is blinding all of them, killing the kids one by one, making the parents look for all of them as well. Look at this guy looking for his son but his son is buried under two miles of sand. Morbid but true. Dota horror stories. We'll be back at five. And meanwhile, Forehead, he's got 20 last hits to his name, 21 last hits, but we've seen from the last game that he is good at farming, whether or not he's good at Faceless Void though. Shall see. In flame, he's got his poor man shield ready at the bottle as well. Has uh, not died to the Viper just yet. Seems to be having a good time against this guy. Um, seeing that Viper is supposedly one of the strongest mid heroes, uh, 
we have Sand King just waiting here. He picks up some bounty. Uh, we'll see if there's a slow Rain's coming across. Viper is now five attack. and a half. Uh, the Dark Seer is here to surge him up as well. It could be pretty dangerous, especially with the Ogre with the double damage. This guy swing in for a hundred and thirty. And we've got Ancient Apparition in the back waiting on standby while Ziff. Uh, gets his free farm here in the bottom lane, reports the Darks here missing, and without Viper Strike, I don't think they will be trying anything. Oh, there it goes, he's slow! Oh, Ogre was looking for it, he was thinking about that one. In flame getting spat on, but the Viper will have, be having none of that. He's just gonna go back into the creep wave, goes to tap it down, and Garda realizes that his entire forest is missing. Uh, sees more ogres, just reminding him how ogre this game is. We are not stopping with these puns, not stopping at all. Q, on the other hand, has managed to stack a nice, a nice camper of creeps here for his friends. And we'll see, Sangto. He's got his power threads, the magic stick, the star shield, uh, all the good stuff. We'll see if he goes for Midas or the more common mask of madness right now. Uh, that's gonna be a stick charge. Oh, they're actually going for him. Chase him away. Just scare him. Scare him. Just scare him. They're just scaring you. Don't mind me. Get some slow down. But still, don't really want to chase on top of the fire there. Still stacking. Bad Rider feeling very brave considering he does not have stick charges. And uh, just being able to push the limits there. Sign of a good offlaner or rather a full hardy one. But I like to go with brave. Garda on the other hand has earned half his bling dagger now. So we'll be getting there in good order. The slot has his ultimate, so he's going to be able to deal with this Dark Seer pest. Uh, now being able to regen in the shadows, just heal up and then go fight the next set of them. But I'd like to see him get more Dark Pact, yeah, needs more for that. Oh, Troll, looking for kills, but a concussive shot too good for that, and he sees. Alright, bad guys, time to run. Are we going to be able to disjoin this Barrel Strike? Maybe not. Nope, nope, not going to try it. Two points in Barrel Strike, three points in Sandstorm. Uh, that's going to be the downfall of that tank. I wonder if Chilling Touch works on illusions. It should not for balance reasons, but never know. I don't think it does. Only works on yours. And meanwhile, four hits down at a uh, thousand gold. And we got 22 last hits to the zero now on the Bat Rider. He has gone into the jungle. Going to flame up. Oh, Viper takes out the troll wall. 101 as well. Didn't really expect that one without any ganks. And just looking all around the map, but getting a kill there. The horse stamps his feet, puts his foot down. It's like enough with the NC. Cruelty. Tower is under back attack. in there, 3 and 5. Uh, we have 6.55. You're stacking up the creep wave. 7 minutes in. Will he get the pull in time? Yes, he does. The tomato sticks around a little bit too long, but never mind. We'll get it anyway. So Viper brings himself up to 2 and 2. While Trolls at 1 and 1. He wants to man fight the Viper once again. 45 seconds left on Viper Strike. So should not be able to get a kill, especially with the poor man shield resisting big amount of damage. So. All's good in Troll Town, uh, whereas Sangto is still up top there with that one kill on him, feeling pretty good. And 300 gold, going to be close to his Mask of Madness very Please, shortly. The Time Lock already at 4 points, attack. doesn't believe in RNG uh, on the defensive side, so not trusting in RNGs is there. Did not skill a single point in backtrack. Alright, so maybe we get a kill. They're still camping for him. They, they are just camping. Oh, they camping. They find him. Hello, friend. Stun. Slow. Chilling touch. Beat the shit out of him, man. Let's blow all out. Ultimates on him and Kid Grodo under the tower. There's your Sand King waiting for a Brown Strike. Fights the troll as well. Troll Warlord. And the Bat Rider just laying down the flames on everyone else. The slot comes in. This is a blood buff. Are you really sure we're not in Russia right now? Because long DD. Oh, it's now short DD for you as he takes a fall. It's a killing spree for Sang To. Four hit is making a comeback, my friends. Sang To is making a comeback. Lin going in there. The Darks here. Gonna be uh, chasing away the slot. The Iron Shell a little bit too painful for him. Jump forward. Wow, wow, wow. Four hit. Four. Jumps in. Pyro Strikes doesn't get enough. The Pounce absorbed there by the Sand King and he absorbs into the ground. 3-3-3, surge in 2 seconds, there pounce, there is a pounce, we're looking for it, we find the pounce, we find it, no we don't, one more right click in front of Bad Rider, the flames all around, fire everywhere, and oh no, maybe, gets in trouble, there's gonna be a stun, maybe, nope, stepping on the flames, once again, not gonna go for it, Ogre Magi doesn't want to risk his life there, Bad Rider finds his blink dagger at the 8 minute mark, wonderful play so far, and in flame. Uh, back to the farming, man. He has died quite a couple of times now, making his score a very, very uh, pleasing number. One, two, and three.
Ray on the stats. Uh, 303 here for Sang Tso, so forehead feeling good and feeling strong uh, compared to the last game where he had, well, I would say no idea, but he had a little idea how to play his hero. And Q still doesn't have shoes, so um, gonna have to start affording those and gonna farm up the neutrals, go a little bit of uh, jungle action here to work on that. 333 three, still has not recovered from the old ways has decided to sink back into them 0, 2 and 3 on that kill score. We've got a Ring of Aquila here for the Viper, so we'll go in for a little bit of stats. The Ring of Aquila is worth 18 points of damage on agility heroes and a pretty worthwhile pickup if you are agility, of course, and sometimes even good when you are not agility but red. In flame. Gonna be farming up this stack here. He's gonna wait for his axes once again. He has a lot of satyrs, a lot of horses to deal with. And the Batrider, having gotten his Blink Dagger, will not steal these stacks away from him and give it away to him instead. So, very nice of his teammates actually getting all the misses across as well. Being extremely, extremely good for this um, for this fight. And Viper. Top tower is under attack. Okay, oh yeah, fight recap. I'm not used to clicking on that. Sorry guys, I will I will get the right recap the next time. Tower is under the attack. next time we have a Russian brawl, we're gonna get that, right? Ziv, now attack. gonna chop away at the tower with the help of the troll ultimate. Um, while he's beating away at wolves, so beating the doggies up, DDC ha hasted and hiding at the tier 1 tower, trying to get his ice blast available as soon as possible. Garda does have his blink dagger, so we have that epicenter combo at the ready. And with the Mask of Madness mm, online here for the Faces Void, he is going to look for a kill here in Ziv. Whether Ziv can hit that Shadow Dance button, button will be up to him. And there's a jump forward. Oh no, the PGG happens. We are definitely in Russia right now. PGG happens and forehead, he's gonna pretend that no one saw that and even then that was really really pushing it. I don't think he would have gotten that kill either way. And well, they're, they're now gonna get out of there and Kurno down. Kurno down. We're gonna hop over net worth now. 5,000 net worth on the void, 5,000 on the void. Slark has 4.7. I'm liking this Chinese game so far. 11 minutes and we got 16 kills. And it's it's looking good. It's looking good. And Dyer's maybe top tower is under attack. Uh, maybe he's Dyer's gonna get ganked here. That's a bad rider. They pull him in. They say, "Oh, keep him there." Here comes the orbital cannon strike. That's a fire blast as well. He's so tanky, beating him down. There's a slug. Jumps forward, catches the viper, pulls him down from the sky. Garda uh, still sitting in the flames. The sentry ward reveals him up. There's your dogs here chasing after the ogre, but it's ogre, man. It's ogre. Nope, they jump forward. Gotta stun him up, but iron shell too good, and it's four kills for forehead. Ziff. Yeah, it's just gonna stay away from the fight here. Sh oh, there's your fight recap. We'll see. Two iron shells, nasty stuff. Two sneaky napalms. Clarity potion being blown as well. Man, those are those big items. All right, now back into the match. We have uh, glove of haste here for the faces. White going for that maelstrom. Invisibility as Q picks up the invis, shows off to the entire game with his annoying voice. We have slot. Realizing that, hey, I'm not getting my heals. What's going on? There's gonna be a sentry ward in the middle lane. Slop for your good health. Oh no, troll. Gonna find him anywhere. There's your ice wall. They blow him up. Here comes Orbital Strike. No need for that, but it would have been on point. Maybe now in trouble. Maybe in trouble. <laughs> and there's your cold feed as well. Gets frozen in place. Feeds right on re entry to the tier 1 tower. It gets brought down. There's another one. Are you sure you want to bring in the feeds? There we go. Bring in the feeds. We will. Garda getting caught in fire. This scorpion is not having a good day. Oh, will he? He will. Bailed out here by the faceless void. Slop. Still looking for a kill. There's your chronosphere once again missing on that chronosphere. Everyone saw that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's show that team fight recap. Don't put that chronosphere in there. It was used to trap creeps and make space. So, well, it does. It is a ball of space and time. There's your casino. Ding, 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 ding. They trap him in somehow. I don't know why that leash doesn't work, but they trap him, and they will take him. Uh, they will not take him out. So the void stays alive. Keeps four O oh, and four. Just keeping perfect, impeccable on those kills and assists. Keeping up the tally there, and they will lose the tier one tower. Twelve and twelve is the kill score, and the gold graph now at two thousand XP at three thousand. Oh boy, this game is shaping up to be real fun. Dyer's middle tower it's really shaping up to be real fun. Lots of things to make fun of, and lots of exciting plays. Hey, we can blame Void all we want, man, but we, we, we still have that four kills and zero deaths. It's obviously his team's fault. Look at his docks here. Dyer's zero, three, and five. It's his fault. 
It's definitely his fault. Skyroth is 0 and 3 as well. These two buddies, a uh, self destructing duo. Right there, the Bat Rider gets doo doo dooed into the ground. And we have another kill there. So maybe finally gets himself a mechanism. There's your orbital strike, the bling as well. There is no running, my friend. Or is there? Is there? RNG, will it save you? Tick tock, tick tock. Let's go. Feeling like he did it. There we go. Takes him out. Ziff snipes him off. Dominating strike, very very well timed lead as well. There is uh, finally a smear on the forehead, and three three three. Gonna be leading the charge against the tier one Tau at seven hundred health, six ninety two close enough. In flame coming in here to to deal with this menace, and maybe is gonna be the target of this. And there's a bad rider finds him there. Now pops the ultimate, beats him into submission, or will he? There's a mechanism surge as well, pushes him to the side. There's still sneaky napalm. You can't turn as fast. Where is this ice blast? Even never mind. Three 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 walks into it. He says yes, please. And four stacks of napalm. Maybe still not gonna fall here. Bad rider thinking about it. There's a slot. Go. Right in there, the barrel strike is well getting instantly dispelled. But there's the silence, there's the slow, everything trapping onto him. They spit on the slot, he goes down. Here's the void, Chronosphere. This time he gets two of them, two, my friend. Two, he gets him. Lin takes him out. Long DD as well. Once again, on the short end of the stick, as Q nukes him with a whole myriad of spells. And Arcane Bolt, too good. Now the Arcane Boots being picked up as well, along with the TP scroll. Now the discount prize of 100. Forehead. Beating away at his tower, they force a glyph. Might as well use it since it does refresh after the towers fall. The mechanism going off once again. And a uh, bad fight from LV and LGD see that they take the lead and gold as it tips down to 750 in the XP and about a thousand. So far, so good for them. And Garter has been making some plays with his sanking. An operation at 1,800 gold, 1,009. About to get his Aghanim Scepter. Uh, we'd like to see the Ogre get his own Aghanim Scepter, but I don't think he will actually. Uh, he will actually get it this time. And, well, Ziff, his Blink Dagger shenanigans. Uh, it was good until he got mass silence and mass disabled. Lin, now gonna be bloodlusted up. Are they gonna scout some heroes out? Oh, there's your troll. They beat him up. There's your epicenter as well. They don't want him alive. This man stays dead, they say. They're gonna pull Sangto up. But are they gonna be able to kill him though? There's your start. There is the casino once again. Ding, ding, ding. It's a jackpot. Gotta. In trouble. He does have 13 stick charges. Are they gonna be able to find him though? He does have the barrel strike. Their eyes blast ready. They see him. Because Batman sees all. You can't see me. Oh, they can. Swear to me. And Gotta. Yeah, he's in trouble. Radiant this man, he is in a lot of trouble. Get them. Wow, wow they, they spare him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. And uh, they do pick him off, so that's uh, two hero down. Show fight recap. I got it. I got it, guys. Double sandstorm used. Uh, Snake charge used to threat swapping three times. Big plays. Uh, meanwhile, DDC goes into Invis. As usual, RNG favors the brave and the bold. Picks up the Invis rune as he runs up there. And 3 3 3. With the Huda Defiance now sick and tired of magical Dyer's damage. Will work towards a attack. type. Smoke some pot, as they say, and forget about that. And feel the magic thing. Something like that. I don't know why am I saying anything like that. But DDC does scout out the docks here. So maybe we look for something. Oh, Shangto. They see him. They say, oh, get the heck out of there, friend. Get the heck out of there. Yep, you're dead. You're dead, man. Good use of walling axes, though. Keeps him alive. There's your ice blast. Run right into it. No, they dodge it. The wall use as well. What are these skills being used? In flame. Run away, friend. Run away. Here comes the slot. Bails him out. There's the pounds as well. Lee just said, why can't I run? And he runs on the spot. Jump so fast. 3 3 3. Ding, ding, ding. Goodbye, friend. There's uh, Sangto running away as well. Bad Rider. He can see him. He can see him. I can see you. Leap, slash, chop. Down he goes. And the Ogre making plays once again with pure skill. Q, they're getting caught out. There's your Skyrath as well. They take out the Bat Rider. The slows are two. The stuns from the bat, uh, from the Ogre keeps them down. Maybe max up his team. Now it's a troll. Taking a fall there. Ziff, he could get, get him killed, but doesn't leap in time. But the pure earn damage, the earn of your friends. One more take, not enough. Earn, oh, doesn't get it. The slop, really low in health. The Mega. No, the little creep there scouts him out. The plays from the man, and oh, they actually zip out of there. So Gata, no blind barrel strike. He actually gets right. Doesn't actually blink in there in time. The ice blast gonna be missing. Uh, misses on Mr. Skyrath here. Dragoness will keep alive for now. And Ogre. 0, 4, and 9. Well, I was expecting for a more sensational score there to hype it up, but no. But I've, I've seen a lot of multi casts. Um, cast, casts. I don't know how you pronounce that. Multi-costs. 
and it's been working out for him uh, but it's a mechanism for DDC no Agadim's rush very interesting maybe they want the Agadim's on long DD instead yeah that's it that's it right there need the Agadim's on long DD we'll, we'll get it for him instead get that double stun you know that maximum value and the earth smoke up once again they said big stack and the creep waves will just run away it's like mommy I feel a burn in my side it's just cause you didn't chew your food and Son, what happened? Oh, there's Lin getting caught out. He was just trying to farm up some jungle creeps, but in the end, he gets himself fried. And once again, Mrs. Wallwing looking for her son doesn't find him as he is dead. Dota horror story part two. Seventeen and twenty-one now is the score. Bat Rider has been on the wrong end uh, of the sanking so far, and Radiant that, structures are fortified. Oh, not see that Santo. Radiant's top tower is under oh, attack. Oh, there we go. TBN looking for maybe. Ogre. Ogre. Maybe we find him. Oh, it's a solo ogre. That's a stun though. That's the ice blast as well. Never let the ogre. Uh, never let your guard down because the ogre will find you and he will kill you. Beats him into submission. Maybe really, really out of position. There is your Chrono Spear. It lands on all four. Oh, the plays from forehead actually gets only one. In flame about to fall as well. There's a double stun. Lands on the forehead. Oh, the pain. Oh, the pain. The epicenter comes in though. Sif gets blown up, not enough life regen for that stuff. The troll coming in with the silence, with the slows. Iron Shell's a little too much, but he cuts him up. Takes him out. In flame, doesn't have a blink. He is definitely out of his stuff right now. Ooh, that's a stun. Follows up. The Sandstorm, though. Barrel Strike on two. Long DD still alive. He's all growing up. He's looking for a fight. Sky Ruff in trouble. 200 health. Beat, beat, bin. Bash him into the ground. Sand King runs away. So it's a 4-4-3. Four, four, uh, trade, I guess you could call it. 21 and 24. LGDC deck taking a big blow there. Losing 2,000 gold. And the XP uh, now is still in the dive. Hey, show fight recap. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. XP change. 5,000. Gold change. Oh, man. Nice. Lose gold here and here. And low. Okay. Again, some gold. Let's see any interesting stuff on this side. Uh, Berserker's Rage being used a couple of times. Soul Ring was used. All right. All right. Bottle charges as well. So. Good team fight recap so far. And oh, we have the boy jumping in there. Is there a Protosphere? Nope, nope, nope. Just running in. Slows himself down. Could actually be his downfall. What are you doing, friend? You have 10 stick charges. Don't forget to use them. Don't forget to use them. Alright, he does not. So now they're gonna run away instead. So a lot of backtracking. Uh, a lot of backtracking there. Keeps himself alive. The Ice Blast actually missing him. So good, good sense of him to actually walk into the trees there. Uh, pull the HY, HY. Surviving there for just a little while. And Lin still has to work on that 4 staff, had a really early blink dagger, a rather late 4 staff. So far this game is going as well as it could for an exciting game that we can hope for. Uh, but yeah, there are not a lot of rad heroes in this game, a lot of fun stuff that could be happening. And DDC still not having the Aghanim Scepter, wishing he had half of it, but Ogre says, let me get some because I swear I'm broken. We'll see. Long DD picks up a second double damage now. I think he's gotten quite a lot of double damage Radiant's so far. Top tower is under attack. And 800, 800 health on DDC. Pretty squishy with all that extra burst coming in there. 5 2 and 11 on the sanking. Making the play so far. It's going to be a Scotty Slock after the Blink Dagger. Not too surprising. And Faceless Void. Now with the Millstrom, we're going to deal Radiant's extra burst damage. But Garda. It's a 4 staff now, can actually do a lot more than he would imagine. Uh, gonna walk into Observer Ward Vision, no, he's just gonna go for the wrap around here, Ziff. He knows what's up, he's got the Eye of Scotty, he pops it right into his eye, gets a third one. And Long DD, feeling tanky and all, 1400 health. He says, alright, let me at him! But hey, jump on the jump on the ogre! Ogre so tanky! Ogre so strong! And no, we jump forward, that's Chrono Spear! No, they bash him on the first hit! They bash him! They bash the void! Oh boy! The RNG! Garner! Gonna get silenced up, there's the dark pack as well, maybe! Getting caught up, BKB a little bit too late! Westland mechanism already used, 35 life points left on that guy, he goes down, the slot catches the... He catches the sky rough, but there's your happy center, he blinks right in there, Garner with the counter plays, catches him, long DD! Tanky, Tanky, stays alive, earns himself up, babes in ashes, stays alive, and Long DD still looking for the reinsertion here. He's going for the Fire Blast, sees the Darks here, hello Darks here. Are we going to see a Fire Blast though? Second one? No, not going to happen. Sanking getting busted out of that Sandstorm. There's your stun. Ding, 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 ding. Smackerino goes down. 26 to 26, five heroes lost. Ogre, Ogre, Ogre. <laughs> oh.
Ogre, Ogre, Ogre. Oh man, that that bash though, that bash bashes for two seconds. It's broken as heck if he gets it on the first strike. Uh, what are the odds, man? Ten seconds. Oh boy, Void dies again. Oh man, I'd rather be cheering for the Ogre than the Void anyway. So, but you you guys saw how tanky that Ogre was. He just he just absorbed everything. They're finally getting his Constellation Chronosphere, so he will get one kill, I think. Gets more bashes, and there's a slot. Nearly catching him there as well. Silence, silence, blink! Oh, no, no blink. You in trouble? No, not in trouble. Scotty makes it very tanky, and he stays alive. He stays alive. Throw Warlord now back on the top lane there. Here's VKB was used in the last fight. Show fight recap. I did not. Oh, I missed it. Oops. Ah, <sighs> well. LGDC deck don't really have their game on today. 13,000 net worth there on the slot, 10,000 on the Viper. Now we're going to farm up some Ancients, building towards the Aghanim Scepter. An item I believe is core on this hero. And now we have a hasted uh, Sand King going in there. 4-Staff Blink, Fire Strike. Oh man, they catch him when they blow him up. Nope, 4-Staff! Saved by the Ogre. And now they actually get the kill on the Scarif Mage instead. Oh god, they're in trouble himself. They get the Dark Seed. Okay, that's not how you make... Uh, that's not how you make plays there, Garda getting caught out. They're gonna try and keep him alive. Sentry what? Hey, get a fancy D1 and a kill. Sounds like value to me. Cold snap, I mean cold feet. Catching Garda there by the edge there. Gets a pounce on him as well and he will fall. The Sandstorm being annoying as always, but the Dark Pack gonna be more than enough. Ding, ding, ding. Catches 3 3 3. And Slot gonna get pounced there for a while, but Inflame is here with the troll slows. And he's going in. He's looking for maybe. There's a bad rider. Pulls him the lasso. There you go. Losing stats. Shift your essence to me. Down he goes. 29 to 27, two heroes down, and LGD C deck, man, they are really taking heavy losses here. They're about to lose another tier 2 tower. There's been a lot of fighting, but less tower pushing. I like to see fighting, but I like to see some game ending as well. Uh, so far, so good as the gold grab goes back into LV's favor. 3,000 gold, 7,005 on that experience graph. Ziff. It's got 3,300 gold. Is there going to be an eagle song or do we see something fancy like an abyssal blade? Make it cool. Q? Oh, gonna get bad rider. No, that's not how you chronos here, man. I mean, you can get one kill that tops, but you might lose your void because of this. Unchargers all just burn him down. They roast it and toast it. Skyrim falls. And we'll see Garda in trouble as well. Ding, ding. Goodbye. And 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Now second fall. Ice Blast as well following up. Really off point with these things. And see if they could go in for that. Ogre says, let me tank the tower. I will dive tier threes for you all. Okay, gotta walk out now. 10 armor, 1,600 health, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And maybe TP's in there, saves his ducks here, buddy. But they lose a tier 2 tower and this gold graph is gonna get out of hand there. There's your fight recap. I did not mace it. Not this time, threat swaps three times. We have napalms, we have um, bloodlust, threat swap twice. Anything interesting? Chronosphere was used. Um, we had the... Um, Ice Blast release being used as well. I don't know why things like that are shown in the recap. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna blink away now and Ziff uh, now picks up his Black King Bar, making him immune to most of the nonsense on CDAC's side apart from Chrono as well as the Viper Strike. 32 to 28. Lots of kills. Compared to the last game, man, they are really being put in the spot here. It's the hot seat in Dota. And it's a, it's a Russian style of Dota, which I can really appreciate coming out from Chinese teams. I really can. And we still got one more game here. I hope we have the tie because I have... Uh, I hope I have enough time to cast it because I have commitments. But if... If this game ends in a quick way, you know, with lots of fighting, a lot of uh, snowballing from either side, it could actually get to be pretty exciting. We can cast the third game. We'll see. There's a smoke coming up here from the Radiance. They're gonna look for kills here in flame. BKB, Vlad's on him. Vlad's builder. Gonna come in for that. No kills so far. Maybe taking a, taking a back seat in this one. Just gonna sit there at the tower, not gonna risk his life. They say, maybe Roshan. Maybe. Q. Could get. Uh, could get slassoed here. Oh, there you go. Skyruff Mage getting caught out there. Leap forward, missing the leap, but never mind. We have got the casino. He drops the Mystic Flare, brightens up the land, and 3 3 3. He jumps in, sees no one, and just walks away. Uh, but still, Lin, he has his four stuff. And Blink Dagger, the Ogre Club, available for him 2007 as well. Maybe he might not want to stay too close here. Here's the slot. Froggy coming in. Nope. Froggy's gonna stay out of that for now. Uh, but still. Pounding away this tier 2 tower, 33 and 28 is the score. Skyruff out for the fight. Lasso. Uh, Lasso. 43 seconds left on that cooldown and in flame. 
Could be looking for those fights now. 3 3 3. Oh, he blinked 4. He vacuums it. He vacuums one dude. Chronosphere doesn't even see that guy. And DDC. There'll be no Irish Blast for this fight. No Windsor. Wonderland. BKB being popped. He fights it. He fights it. He wants to pounce into it. And he pounces in it. So the Chronosphere is just used to take out a single Ancient Apparition. But in flame, not tanky enough for you. But Ogre stuns him up. Void runs away. Takes the high road. Runs away. Long DD finally getting evaporated there. And the Sand King doesn't even need to join that fight. So that fight goes to LGDC deck. And we'll wait for that team fight recap as Volvo starts the counter now. Right there we go. Look at all the spells used there. Time Walk twice. Chronosphere once. Viper Strike once. BKBs, 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 Blink Daggers all being used there. And I kept it up for more than 5 seconds, right? Oops! Maybe getting caught out. Sand King catches up Zip. They could blow him up. There a nice follow up blast there. There is a silence. There is a lot of damage. They back him back. They end him. With a dominating spree. The Void comes in, says, hey, it's Roshan time. Is there a buyback? There is. There is a buyback. We could look for a buyback here. We'll see if there is. Ice Blast. Boom! And of course, he gets Bash. Bash. Nope. Zips away. Doesn't want to take extra bursting. And so far, it's... Uh, they find it pretty acceptable. They're not going to buy back for now. They're holding on to that. Do they give the Roche away is the question. They do have this tier 2 to TP too. So we'll just see if he does hit that bright yellow button that says respawn. There we go. Respawns into the fight. I think it's time for you to book it. 15 seconds to Chronosphere. But you know, don't want to take too many chances. Here we go. Ancient Apparition. Ice Blast in one. Two. Oh, Blink, Power Strike. We could find him. DDC in trouble. Doo -doo -doo coming in. Nope, Slot comes in. They want to pick up the... They want to pick up the supports instead. They find Q. Q is going to fall. There is going to be an Aegis uh, taken out here. Bad Rider looking for the Viper. Hello. Oh, what are you doing, friend? Oh, what? What the hell are you doing? All right. There we go. Never mind. They find him. Lasso beats him up. There we go. That's enough. Aegis, that's one. The BKB, very, very curious about that BKB. That's the vacuum as well. Crossfire. One, two, three. He's flying. Look at LeBron James. Then Ziv has the BKB as well. Epicenter going to do absolutely nothing. Oh, well, maybe he will do some damage to Inflame. Inflame is going to fall here. There's your stun. No nope. ding, ding, dings for now. There's your ding, ding. Gets in uh, Ignite. Just the mass slows here across the board. Ziv still stealing stats. 12 essence shifts right now. Feels it's too dangerous to continue. And Long DD is going to stun once. Gets the power strike onto Long DD. Takes him out there. 3-3-3 getting some kills on the board with the Iron Shell. Two viewers have received the prize from Super Singer Multi Kill. And Ziv uh, running away. Back out of the fight. And the point booster show team fight recap. We got some fire strikes. We got some time walks. And. Oh, Flaming Lasso is used. Oh, you pretty much saw what's there. I don't know how much of the team fight recap we need. Well, 6,000 damage was done. So that's nice to know as well. That uh, that that was a pretty cool thing. That troll just standing in the air there with his hands crossed. That was a cool screenshot worthy moment. Oh, uh, all right, Ziff. Uh, he he's he's looking for pickoffs again, and it's gotta be missing needle. Oh no! He leave the roadway, fool, fool! <laughs> Oh, Q, Q, Q. They could be in trouble now. They lasso the sky up. They bring him along. You're coming along on a road trip, Sonny. And the Ice Plaza will miss. Uh, we'll just tag the Darks here at the end of that. And Ziff finds a regeneration. Could tap up his mana for now, but not going to use it just as of yet. And then Flame. Yeah, he's got a uh, pause. I need to PP again. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Is that it? Uh, so I guess he lagged again. Alright. Alright. Like cards like in Chinese. Oh, come on, don't take off my don't take off my mood, man. I'm in the zone right now. <laughs> uh, well see a color. Come on, don't ruin my mojo. Alright, let's check out some more gold graphs. What is this thing? Why does it always block? I can shift my gold graph as well. Look at all these things. Oh man, these are not commuters on a Monday morning. This is... Death Tracker. Alright, so the gold graph uh, beyond the summit, now at zero. And the XP, same thing. So Throws have been happening and it looks like Mr. Collar is done. G from Lin. And here we go. Here we go. Back in it. Got her. On the top lane. 5, 5, 16, 800 gold. 
Walking towards, I would imagine Black King, but it could be a Academy Scepter. But the Ogre Club is a safe build up first item. Uh, it does allow you transition either way. And DDC walks in there, sees that Roshan is currently out of it. Plants an Observer Ward. Nice. This is such a nice ward. I love that this ward was added into the game. So good. It really just messes up the rate, uh, the die off laner as well if you ever get it up there. If you ever want to commit that hard on an off laner. But just saying. Here comes the smoke. The 420. Attack. The good old 420. You're gonna be coming in. They're gonna follow forehead here. I'm gonna go, friend. Are we gonna go? Nope, nope, we're just gonna walk around. Alright, so in flame, back in the middle lane, farming 2005. I'm not sure what he could actually go for. Troll always just seems like a very squishy hero, uh, despite him being such a menace in the fight. He just always has that squishy feel to him. He just dies too quickly, I feel. And. Well, the Academy Scepter, DDC, could have had it by now, but was forced to pick up the mech and go into healing duties. And Garder, still got 1,100 on that. Got Sif on that slot. The BKB and Scotty. And the Blink Dagger as well, all available for him. Long DD, uh, with the point booster, 4 stuff, and Urn of Shadows is uh, looking to build into an Academy Scepter. Yes, I just saw this. Alright, we're going to have an Academy Scepter on an Ogre. We'll see if we can get out and find Fire Blast in this game in time and we'll see Radiance bottom tower is forehead under attack. thousand three hundred gold Q still doesn't have a lot of items apart from his uh, basic urn arcane boots so hasn't really been getting as much kills as he would like the slot has been picking him off quite a fair bit the icon scepter is done for maybe and BKB is uh, going to be picked up here for him. Garda, on the other hand, we'll see what he builds into. I would like to see an Academy Scepter. And but he's probably going to go for BKB. Ziff. Pushing up top. Going for, they're going for the pushes, man. And Ancient Apparition. The minute he gets his Aghanim Scepter, I think things would change a little bit more. As the Ice Blast Shatter is going to be pretty huge. Does provide that he doesn't get caught by the Faces Void as he always does in the fights that the Shiva's got on 333. It's gonna be good for revealing any hidden guys if they do decide to hide in trees there. It's gonna be pretty anti juking it's gonna be good for the team fight as well. Combo up with the vacuum. Gonna be very strong for that. But still, both teams are content, just sitting back and farming for now. In flame. Double damage to Vlad, Dyer's the BKBs. And LGD are taking Dyer's a pick stick. They're just the standing still. They're literally standing still. There's your TP back. Going back into base and. Dyer's top yeah, tower going back into attack. base. They're not going to do anything Radiant's else. Bottom tower is under attack. Lin. Gotta pop that Firefly now. Did you see? Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Picks up their Ogre Club. Two more items to that unrefined fire blast. Don't worry, guys. After this game, we do have LV versus Tong Fu Wan Zhou. I think that is the Tong Fu B squad, or is it just Tong Fu now? I think it's just Tong Fu now, and we'll see how th how far they have come. And looking forward to see them once again. LV. I've never casted these teams before, but I have seen a couple of names. Uh, Long DD, of course, and we have Inflame and Lin to some extent. But yeah, I've not seen Ziff. Um, or rather, I, I forgot to say Ziff. Oh, not forgot to see Ziff, but I've, I haven't actually seen Ziff or recognized him from anywhere. But he's been playing pretty solidly. He's got 15 kills on his slot. And we got Sand King taking up some dangerous, dangerous juggling positions there. Gets lassoed up. Batman finds him. There's your stun. Ding, 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 ding. Takes him out. Three stuns. Scrooge, you're dead. And multi cast now at level 3. So, Fire Blast uh, has. How many seconds ago? 6 seconds of cooldown and 60% chance to cast twice. Oh, nicely done. 480 damage. This is. Well, it's a pretty good stun. 
think about it. No, it's a pretty good stun. A pretty good stun. Yeah, now DD is gonna be away at his tier 2 tower. We could have a Rex breaking opportunity here with the Sand King down for 26 seconds and no buyback seeing that he bought the Mitchell Hammer in panic. And. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Tower? Smoke gank. Looking for targets. Do we find them? Faces Void shows his face up top. Oh, does he? No, he does not. They fly over uh, the Observer Wards. Oh, Darks here. Oh, Darks here. Oh, Darks here. These Darks here. Oh, Darks here. There you go. The Bad Rider fights him. And they get him. They're going to beat him up. Does he have five back? Yes, he does. Nah, nah. Does not. Does not. Alright, so. We'll see if they can push the base out of this. Respawn in 15 seconds. The big man is back. Was that a firework? Might have been. See that still beating away at this ancient stack. Still playing it safe. And the, the, the hypers died down for a bit. They have not really killed a lot of things. Scotty! This is Team Scotty right here. What to do when you're out of stats? Get Scotty. Slow fools. And I guess it's okay. He can actually keep up persistent slows here with his Scotty attack. He even changes his range to Scotty, so why not? Hit flame. Kills off a bunch of harpies. They asked for us. And yeah, there we go. We're gonna be farming, pushing up top. And waiting for Roshan. Actually, Roshan is back up. Still not pushing the issue here. They're not really like, doing anything right now. The um, Eagle Song has been picked up on slot for quite a while now. He's got 2,800 gold. Uh, but they really haven't persisted in the pressure. And now LGD have got their full full squad ready. And their full strength. So they're going to smoke up. They're going to go into Roshan and hope to secure themselves a good fighting advantage. And we'll see what happens here. There's your Mask of Madness. Beats away at Roshan. 12,000. And dropping. Smack, smack, smack. What are they doing up top? They're not doing anything. They're not. Yeah, they're not doing anything. They're just gonna lose this Roshan. Still bashing away at him. Still bashing away. And as your troll, he doesn't have enough though. He doesn't have enough. He doesn't really want to be caught out alone. And what are they doing in the jungle? I, I feel really annoyed just seeing them just walking around and doing nothing, trying to farm up some neutrals and not actually pressuring the tower here, giving away the Aegis now. And now that they give away the Aegis, it's 40 and 30 seconds, 4 minutes and 30 seconds there, the slot blinks away there. Yeah. They give away a free Aegis without really securing anything. They, they take damage on their tier 2 as well, and it felt like a waste of time there. They just hung around, expecting to get something out of that, and in the end, Got nothing. Radiance bottom tower has been denied. Jump in there from Void. Let's have a demon edge now. The thing is, he did not pick up the Aegis. It was uh, it was the Vipers. So we'll see what happens there. Maybe. Then, Trunkle boots, BKB, four staff, Link dagger, all up for him, and. I get him to it. Oh, yes. Oh, we're waiting for this. Okay, I got it now. I got it. Here we go. Are you guys hyped? I'm hyped. I am hyped. Ding, ding. Diddy, ding. All right. Let's go. It's, it's happening, guys. It's happening. Butterfly for slot. That's eh. But this. But this. Haha. <laughs> All right. Six seconds. Free fire blast. Oh, they're gonna maybe lasso someone. Uh, so Viper. Oh no, Viper is a great target to get, but unfortunately they don't see him because Bat is blind. And nope. Back to farming. Back to farming. Why don't you just push middle? But I guess they don't. Uh, they can't push middle because of the ages. So You're not gonna push middle for now. A long DD. I'm just looking at this guy right now. Mm hmm. Alright, let's get hyped for Ding Ding. Let's get hyped for Ding Ding. Ding Ding. 
Alright, this could be a pretty soul crushing fight. 3 3 3, my friend! Oh, good blink! He gets away! Here comes the zip forward! They chronosphere him! There's the blink dagger as well, so he will not be able to. Well, he can't force stuff him anyway. But nice luck! Counter initiation and taking aggressive. Aggressive is defensive. And we will get him. They waste a lot of Sangto, but no! No! Triple vacuum into wall. Barrow strike. Long did he still alive? Keep you alive! No, he's dead in flame. Going in for him. That Sangto, he's in trouble himself. Forehead is down. Zip the player. He's got 14 essence shift charges here. Q getting caught up here. Stab, stabby, stab, 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 stab. Down he goes. Triple kill for him, and maybe. He dies as well. Haha, <laughs> I love this name so much. And there you go. There you go. Your ultra kill. Steal the stats. Give me them stats. 30. 30. Give me 30. Can't do here. 30. 30. 30. 30. There's your ultra. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. We got 28 essence ship. 84 agility. Beat the hell out of this guy. Come on. You can't do it. You got 84 agility. Do it. No. Pussy. But no. Nope. Not gonna go for it. Runs away. I guess that's the safe play, but it's not the fun play. Uh, well. Maybe. He's got his butterfly available now, so he's gonna go into a more damage dealer kind of thing. And. Gotta. Yeah, he's got his uh, Skull Basher, his Blink Dagger, Force Staff, and Black King Bar. Um, all available for him, so his epicenters are not getting stopped anytime soon. Uh, meanwhile, faces Void, not picking up the Aegis, did cost him a little bit, but. On the other hand, it prevented that ultra kill here from the Slark. But Slark did took, uh, take out quite a few heroes there. And... Q, and the Sky of Mage, and the Gold Scepter now. He should be able to resist some of Slark's damage. Some. Uh, and we'll, we'll see what he do does, dice de does decide to go from here. Uh, but this game has gone to 44 minutes. We thought it was going to be a brawler type of match. But in the end, it does, uh, does result in a lot of uh, back and forth. And Lin, now with the plate mill, the four staff, and we're looking for Sangto. Sangto does have BKB, so I don't see him getting blown up. Maybe he could. Where's Mr. Ogre? There we have him. We have the Ogre. Oh no, he jumps for it! Oh, what are you doing? No! So for it. He just bought his basher as well. He's a dead man. And there's your double dings, man. The double Ds on the long DD. They bring him down. The Bat Rider roasts the void. And 70 seconds on the flight lines. It is. Four hit indeed. 40 and 37. They slow him to fight for strike. They still could keep this alive if they try. Uh, and if, of course, LV decides not to push, which is looking to be the case. Let's not push while Void is dead. Well, on the other hand, to be fair, they do not know that the Void does not have buyback. So, we're gonna take the safe play here. We're gonna drag this to an R. They finally destroyed his observer war. They know what's up. They, uh, they plop it on the high ground. And Q suddenly turns himself away. So that, that kill is all for naught. Okay, just going back to farm. Not gonna push. Don't get your uh, knickers in the twist, as they call it. Long DD. My man. There's a haste room. Snapped up there by slot. He's gonna run away. There's the multicast as well. Uh, the arcane bolts. Are we gonna really make for, wait for the next Roshan? Yeah, probably. Q. DDC. Still doesn't have his Aghanim, so on. Sad man. Drops an Observer Ward here, nice. Uh, it's a deep ward. It does help you scout out enemy targets uh, when they are most unsuspecting of it as well. It's a, it's a really clever ward. Once in a while it does pay off, and when it does, oh boy, does it taste good. Uh, Garda with the plate mill and BKB. Up on him, we're gonna go for another puff and woof. Another puff? Is there a smoke? There we go. This parrot knows what's up. Alright, light her up, and there we go. We're gonna go smoke up. Ziff. Blink daggers available, Scotty, bashes, butterflies. 4,000 gold. I feel that this patch has been tweaked the wrong way, as in like, a lot of heroes are ending the game with a huge surplus of gold. <laughs> I'm not sure if this was the intended fix, but I feel like Dota needs something else to spend a huge amount of gold with apart from buyback, since buyback is no longer, um, I don't know, like, fully 
exploitable with gold. You know, the new old versions just earn like ten thousand dollars and just set buybacks after buybacks. It made the game impossible to win. Uh, but now buyback having cooldowns, I, I feel all this surplus gold should be gone to something else, like you know, interior designs or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, summon auto turrets or replenish a building or something. I think that would be cool. Replacing towers, tier four towers with gold. That would be fun. Build new tier four towers. Refresh Glyph with 5,000 gold, something like that. I don't know. Could be cool. It could be cool. Oh, uh, that's your Bat Rider. That Batman. Batman wants something. What you gonna give Batman? Yeah. No, I'm still What's up? It's gonna be flaming right in. There is gonna be a Viper. No, Viper, Viper, Viper. No. Oh, they want him. They want him. They want him so bad. Blink away. No. Four stop. No. What? Um, and that's what I would have done in my game. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Alright. Alright, it's lame. Beating away at the beating away at the neutral creeps once again. <laughs> uh, long DD. Hasn't really shown the full effect of his new stick. Uh, Daedalus, on the other hand, has been picked up by Troll Wallet, so fast attack speed and crits. Sounds good. I got Scepter. Scoots on into the rush pit, sees nothing. Ah, they, the, they want to look for him. They want to look for him. Inflame, feeling brave. There's your Viper Strike. Oh, the last soul, the Void. This is a good target again. Ice Blast, Ice Blast, gets him. Nope, they miss him. They actually hit him. There's your Void, down for the fight. Garter as well, pops his BKB, goes for the doo 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 DC! He already used his ultimate, so his time is done. There's your dings! The long ding ding! Oh boy, they take him out. 3 3 3 in trouble as well, all because Bat Rider was here to save the day. The gem of True Sight as well, on the ground. And out for that, gem walks right over there, beats the face in of that illusion, and now we'll force us out. This guy is a man with style, and he, he's just strolling, man. Two ass, two gems. Woo! And now they go for base! Alright, I'm glad they didn't go for Roche for the first time. Beats the heck out of this tower now. In flame. Dayla, Scotty, Sif with the Abyssal Blade. Uh, so much damage to be done. And we might actually see a game closer here this time. It's not the same as the last one where no one had buybacks. This time everyone has buybacks uh, on the Radiant Squad. And middle barracks going down. Here comes the Viper. Viper versus the world. Are we gonna get it? In flame, good at taking out towers. He bashes down the real estate in flame. He might have some trouble moving now with all that poison in his system, but it's okay. We have Slark, we have the Dings. Are we having a second one? Is there a second Ice Blast, Fire Blast? No need. GG from Q. They know it's over. The jig is up. Ogre is OP. I called it right at the freaking start, boys. Right at the start. LV will take this game over LGD C deck. C deck will go home today crying with 0 and 2 on their score. And, well. Sick plays uh, and some clutch lassos from the Bat Rider. We uh, we laughed at him for that BKB, best BKB 2014. That picnic was real, but that faceless void getting caught out there without his BKB up, unfortunate indeed. And Slug man, he earned 14 fantasy points. Creekasm. All right, so LV Gaming, they're gonna take themselves a win here, and they're gonna go on to play Tongfu Wanzo in the next fight if we have it. Like I said. Uh, I'll explain more about my, my what, about the timing constraints later on after this cast. We'll just keep it straight for the VOD. So I'm Lysander Zenora. Hopefully you had that uh, had fun with that. I had a lot of fun. It's been a while since I casted something so epic. And I'm glad to be back uh, casting. I'll be back uh, next weekend to cast more stuff. But for now, thank you guys for watching. I'll update you guys on Game 3. Apparently Steam is down, so I don't know what happens uh, next. So I'm Lysander Zenora. If you don't know me already, I'm... Uh, I've been casting a bit of BTS, if you don't know, my name's in the title, it's Lysander Zenora. You can go follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and follow me on twitch.tv slash Lysander Zenora. Uh, it'd be great to have your support. Um, support. I love all you guys, you guys are really, really, really nice. And look to see you guys more around. And of course, you have been watching The Summit 2, powered by G2A. And of course, brought to you by Beyond The Summit. And hope you guys enjoyed this game so far. More news on game number 3 for today will be coming up next. Take it easy guys, much love and kappa.